breaking news. This just in, we have an important announcement from the Word of God. In the Ten Commandments, God tells us that when a man and a woman gets married, it's a promise to be faithful to each other for life. And now, we're going on the streets to see what people think about this breaking announcement. I'm Reporter John here on the streets, and we have been talking to a few folks about marriage. Here, take a look. Hey young man, did you know that when a man and woman get married, they are making a promise to be faithful to each other for life? How do you feel about that? Well, God's commandment is great. I certainly want my mom and dad to be together and love each other for the rest of their lives. And when I get married, I want to do the same thing too. Awesome! Hey little boy, do you think sometimes it's difficult for daddy and mommy to be married? Yeah, my daddy snores. Anything else you'd like to add? My daddy also eats too much food. Hey old man, can you comment on God's law about being faithful in a marriage? Hey Sonny, God's commandment for marriage is great. It takes a lot of hard work and commitment for both husband and wife to keep their promise to love each other for life. But God is happy when they both keep their promise they made to each other. That's great. Back to you. Excellent reporting, reported John. So let us remember that God gave us the Ten Commandments because He loves us. And He wants us to live a wonderful life loving Him and others. So, so now, now, let's go, go back, back to our, our regular, regular programming. programming. Oh, and remember friends, in today's video, we will have another round of mystery questions during our What's Up segment number three to earn points. So you better pay attention to everything we'll talk about in today's video. And we'll provide you with mystery questions during our What's Up segment number three. So I'll see you then. Kids, welcome back to Children Worship. We're so happy to worship together with you. So we have been teaching about the Ten Commandments, and today we'll be looking into the Seventh Commandment, and this commandment has to do with marriage. You mean when a grown-up man marries a grown-up woman? That's right. So how about this? Let's ask some of our kids and some youth leaders to see what they know about marriage. Marriage is a commitment of love, patience, trust, respect, and giving. Hi everybody, my name is Therese and I am 8 years old. Today I will be talking about marriage. And marriage is when a man and woman make a commitment to love each other forever. They show each other love by kissing and hugging. I don't know. Well, it's when mommy and daddy love each other and help each other out. A man and a woman get married. When a man kisses a bride, um, love fills the air, and of course they do the bring it, wedding ring exchange. And then the flower girl will throw petals. Marriage should be everlasting long love. Um, a male and woman get together and they love each other. <laughs> so, marriage is when a male and female love each other and they want to get married and then they have this whole like ceremony thing where they give rings to each other and then there's like, they invite people and then they do like a dance and then people cheer. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. When people are married, they love each other, and they put their trust in each other. When people are married, I know that they really care for each other, and they also want the best for one another. Also, they really love one another. <laughs> yes, I will get married when I grow up. And I want to get married in the future. Bye! Uh, yeah. They want to have a family. 
I don't really know if I should marry someone. So if I get married, I have kids, right? Mm -hmm. And the kids will shout in my ear and say, I want juice, I want cookies. And then, uh. and then just like when my mommy um, had to deal with me. <laughs> Do you want to get married? I guess. <laughs> Great sharing, everyone. Sounds like you kids know a lot about marriage. Well, in the seventh commandments, God gave us this command. Do not commit adultery. Wait, hold your horses. What does that mean? Well, part of this commandment means that God wants husband and wives to keep the promises that they made together. But sometimes it's very difficult for husband and wife to keep all the promises they made to each other and sometimes they don't feel like keeping those promises. But know this, boys and girls, that it pleases God when a husband and a wife don't break those promises. Sounds like a good commandment to follow. And we'll learn more about the seventh commandment during our sermon time today. All right, now let's start our worship. Today we have Daniel to do the opening prayer for us. Take it away, Daniel. Dear Jesus, um, help us prepare our heart um, to worship you and the seventh commandment, um, mom and dad keep their promise. Um, help the evidence supplies get the COVID-19 and no vaccine for the people and get the COVID-19 um, out and find the cure for the um, scientists and doctors. Um, help um, everyone who are sick will get, feel better. In your Lord's name, amen. There's none like you, O Lord. You are great, and great is your name in might. Jeremiah 10, 6. I will sing of your lovely kindness of the Lord forever. To all generations, I will make known your faithfulness with my mouth. Psalm 89, 1. Bless the Lord, all your works of His, in all places of His dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Psalm 103.22 
move on to the next song called Love. And now, it's Sermon Time with Teacher Jody. Hi boys and girls. I'm so glad to be sharing God's Word with you all. Today, we are talking about the seventh commandment of the Ten Commandments. Now, this commandment is a little challenging to teach you kids because it simply isn't suited for children. The seventh commandment in the Bible is about marriage, and marriage is for grown-ups. And the Bible says marriage is between a man and a woman. But kids today are such smarty pants. You kids already have some idea of what marriage is. And sometimes more than what we adults give you kids credit for, just like those kids sharing earlier in the video today. I know that some of you might think that marriage is yucky or maybe you've decided that you never ever wanna get married, but we wanna teach you kids that the Bible says that marriage is something created by God and we all need to respect marriage and it's never too early to start respecting marriage because right now the world is already telling you many different ideas about marriage. TV and movies, streaming, YouTube, anyone around you could be telling you or showing you what marriage is about. And it can all be very confusing, but it's good to know that when we are confused, when we're not sure, we can always count on the Bible to tell us God's truth. The Bible shows us in the seventh commandment that God tells his people, you shall not commit adultery. Simply put, adultery means being unfaithful to your husband or wife. It means that you've broken a promise that you've made to your spouse and God that you would be faithful to just one person. The Bible tells us that God created marriage. God wanted marriage to be a sacred, lifelong commitment that husbands and wives would keep until they were eventually separated by death. God wanted people to take this vow seriously, which is why he put this in the Ten Commandments. God spoke a lot about marriage and about being faithful. And when his son Jesus came to earth, he performed his first miracle at a wedding. 
Jesus also spoke about marriage and he reminded people that marriage is a sacred promise that must be kept. Let's read from Matthew 19, 7 to 9. They asked, Why did Moses command that a man can give his wife a letter of divorce and send her away? Jesus replied, Moses let you divorce your wives because you were stubborn, but it was not this way from the beginning. Here's what I tell you. Anyone who divorces his wife and marries another woman commits adultery. A man may divorce his wife only if she has not been faithful to him. So here's the main idea. Jesus taught many lessons and parables and stories that had a hidden meaning. He did this because he wanted people to listen and discover the message for themselves in his stories. Jesus also spoke directly about certain subjects when it was very important. This is one of those moments. Jesus made it clear that marriage was not something to be taken lightly. The people of biblical times had come to see marriages as temporary, something that could be easily ended. But Jesus made it very clear that marriage was never intended to end in separation. It's supposed to be for life and anyone who gets separated for reasons other than their partner being unfaithful commits adultery. Perhaps I can better explain using a simple example. You kids love toys and games, right? Imagine one day you see this really awesome toy and you make a promise to your parent that if they buy you this toy, that you would never need another toy ever again. And this is a promise that you're going to keep for the rest of your life. But you know what's gonna happen, right? Another awesome toy comes along and you want that one. Has that ever happened to you before? And the lesson is this, boys and girls. God is telling us that we can't do that in a marriage. Marriage is very important to God. He wants us to remember that getting married is a sacred promise and he wants us to keep it all our lives long. Caring for family, um, supporting them, helping them, and loving each other. In my opinion, a good marriage is that you guys love each other, um, believe in Jesus, and you guys don't fight. Um, the couple stays together for a long time. I think that a good marriage is when your wife or husband is trustworthy and caring. Well, um, the male and female have to like each other a lot until they die and then have kids and then it passes on to the next generation and on. I think that a good marriage is when both wife and husband treat each other equally with respect. And they also need to understand each other. There are many other things that make up a good marriage, but I think that respect and understanding is really important. I'm sure that many of you are still thinking, gross, get married? I'll never get married. Some of you might stay single all your lives, but some of you might change your minds when you grow up and decide to get married. We want you to know that marriage is something very special. It's a decision that should not be taken lightly because it's a promise to both your spouse and to God. If you do choose to get married and say those vows, keep those vows. Do not stray, do not be unfaithful. Honor your wedding promise and keep it all your life. Marriage is a gift from God and it's a sacred vow and a sacred promise that must be kept. Whatever your thoughts are on getting married one day, remember that God intended for married people to be faithful to that one person. Don't look aside or don't turn away from them. Stay committed and God will bless you both greatly for fulfilling his commandment. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us the gift of marriage. I pray that you teach us to be faithful in keeping our vows and to remember that marriage is something very special in your eyes. So Lord, even though a lot of us are too young to fully understand marriage now, I pray that you remind us to respect marriage and to respect the seventh commandment, to be faithful. Lord, I pray that you teach us that marriage is something that's for our whole lives long and that we honor you this way. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you, Teacher Jody, for the awesome sermon about the seventh commandment. And now is our memory verse time. Today, we have Gianna to read us our two memory verses. Let's go. Memory verse number one. 
This is how we know that we love the children of God. By loving God and carrying out His commandments. 1 John 5, 2 Memory verse number 2 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All who follow His precepts have good understanding. To Him belong eternal praise. Psalms 111.10 Let's do our best to memorize and recite these in our next virtual groups. appreciation. This week, a heartwarming photograph came out of the city of Boston. The photograph shows a father swan caring for his babies just days after the mother swan passed away. This swan family has captured the city's attention for a story that could be sad, but also a joyful story about a dad who knows how to do his job. Yeah, here, check out this news clip about this story. These adorable baby swans have quickly become local celebrities in Boston, capturing the attention of walkers, joggers, and photographers along the Esplanade. Sadly, earlier this week, there was a heartbreaking development. The mother swan passed away suddenly in the nest. The papa swan sat by with the babies tucked under his wings. And it's a really heartbreaking story and was really touched by it. On Thursday, Matthew went to take pictures of the papa swan and the babies. And when they approached, I noticed something was kind of unusual. They were all, all the baby signets were on top of the Papa Swan. He had just a second or two to get this incredible shot. Aww, what a wonderful swan family. And much love for the father swan who now carries a torch to care for his family. This is such a sweet story. Yep. And in many ways, our fathers are just the same. They work very hard to love and care for us, working together with mom. So, with Father's Day coming up next week, this is the best opportunity for us to show our appreciation to our dads. Yeah! So, we're going to need you boys and girls to do something special for your dad to appreciate them in next week's Father's Day worship video. So, here are the instructions. There are two options for your entries. So option number one is to take a fun photo with your dad and email it to us. And we know, we know that some of your dads may, know, may no longer be around, so you can also submit a photo of your dad. In the email, please share with us the following. My dad loves to blank. My dad helps me with blank. And also write a special message for your dad. The second option is to record a short video of yourself or with your siblings and share the following to your dad. My dad is a blank dad. He loves to blank. He helps me with blank. And I want to tell my dad blank. That's right. So please send in your submissions to our email address at cbmckids at cbncla.org. Yeah, so we look forward to all your submissions. Now, let's go to our next segment. What's up segment number two? Exercise time. Hi guys, I'm Coach Elias. And I'm Coach Matthew. And today, we're gonna do exercise time. Okay guys, first we're gonna do arm circles. We're gonna do 10 of these, okay? Ready, go. One, One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, guys. Next, we're gonna do lunges. So, how you do a lunge is you go into a kneeling position and you make sure your knee almost touches the ground, but not there yet. So, we're gonna do five on each side, so that makes ten. Ready, go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Great job, guys. All right, guys, now we're gonna do ski jumps. We're gonna do 15 of these, okay? Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Great job, guys. Okay, lastly, we're gonna finish it off by doing jumping jacks. We're gonna do 25 of these, okay? Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Great job, guys. Make sure you get plenty of water, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye! What's up segment number three? Mystery question time! Are you ready? And here are the questions. Number one, fill in the blanks. In the seventh commandment, God tells us, do not commit, what is this word? Number two, God wants husbands and wives to keep the, what is this word? They made to each other. Number three, multiple choice. Choose the best answer. Marriage is A. Created by God B. Yucky C. A promise made between a man and a woman to form a family Or D. Both answers A and C Multiple choice. Choose the best answer. Marriage can be confusing because many people think differently about it. What is the best way to find out what is the truth about marriage? A watching TV, B, listening to everybody's opinion, C, God's Word, the Bible, or D, watching YouTube. Bonus questions. Please provide a short answer for these questions. Number five, from our What's Up segment number one, what happened to the Swan family after the mother Swan passed away? Number six, from our What's Up segment number two, Name two exercises we did together. Each mystery question is worth five points each. Once you have all of them written down, then you'll email them to your kid's small group leader before your next kid's small group time. You can ask your parents to help you email. We look forward to seeing your answers, and we'll see you at your next kid's small group time. Now's our craft time. Today we have Miss Craft to teach us an awesome craft about marriage. All right, let's do it. How are you guys doing this week? Welcome to Craft Time with Miss Craft. This week, we are going to learn about marriage is a promise we need to keep for life, which is our seventh commandment. This week, we're going to learn to make this wonderful, beautiful, heart-shaped engagement ring or wedding ring. So just to remind us that we have to keep the promise of um, our marriage to God. So, um, if you guys want to show me your craft next week, show me how you what you make. Please email to the email address below. Now, let's learn how to make that. It's very simple. We need um, two pieces of um, red paper, or you can choose the color that you want. You you have need some tape, a cutter, or scissors. Okay, first of all. We are going to start to fold the heart first. I'm going to take this, fold it in half. Okay. Then turn around. Okay. Fold a little part, a little piece down here. A little piece down here. Okay. And then fold that to the top in half. Okay. So you have something like this. Okay. Then you take this angle, fold it against this line, okay? Do the same thing with the other side, fold it against th this line, okay? Okay, so there's like a triangle, but it has some flat top on top, okay? Then you take this flap, you fold it, okay? against to 
the line. Okay. Then you open it up. Can I open it up? Take this angle, fold it to this this little point. Okay, across this point. Fold it to this point. Yes. All right. Here comes a little bit hard part. Okay. You're gonna take this angle, this angle, okay? Hold it, and then slip it inside here, inside this pocket, okay? Very easy, slip it in, just push it in, yes. Okay, let's do another uh, for, for the left side, okay? First of all, you're gonna fold this against this line, okay? Afterwards, open it up, Take this angle, fold it in this uh, point here, pointing in this point, okay. Then afterwards, you take the bottom angle, fold it, okay, with the fold line. And then after that, you take this little piece, okay, put it inside this pocket, which is you use your finger to push it in. It's in. There we go. And we flip it around. It looks like approximately heart shape, okay? Then we take this corner, this corner, these four corners, okay? We're gonna fold it a little bit, okay? Pull a little bit towards the back. Pull a little bit towards the back, a little tiny bit, okay? Same thing here, a little bit towards the back little bit towards the back okay there we go towards the back and then here comes a fun part that you can all do see this see this little thing here you're gonna put it um, uh, up against your mouth and you blow some air in here okay okay after you blow some air in here you are going to push this top down so it looks like a heart is it cool okay and then we're gonna put this aside for now then we take out another piece of paper we're gonna cut fold it in half first and then you can use a pair of scissors or your cutter to cut it in half okay after you do that you take half of it fold it Okay, in half again, horizontally. Open it up. Take the bottom, fold it to the middle full line. Do the same thing with the other side. Okay. Then take and fold it one more time. Take the bottom, fold it in the full line. Do it to the other side as well. All right. Then after you do that, you fold it in the middle just like we made um, remember we made the mass string same thing okay then you use a pen or pencil to do this okay just fastly brush it through fastly brush it through, through. and then it has this arch that made after the brush okay then you are going to form a circle in here. Slight circle in here, okay? Of course it needs to fit your finger inside. Okay, afterwards we get out a piece of tape. Okay, tape it in the, uh, in this. There we go, you tape it. You tape it in this, all right. There we go. Then, all right, after we take the tape and fold it, put it to um, fold the end, two ends together, tape the two ends together, we're gonna tape this circle to the back and use a piece of little tape, okay? Piece of little tape. First of all, we use the tape, we we tape it on the ring area first. Okay, tape it on first. 
then we have half part of the tape here, half part of the tape here. Then we tape it on the back of the um, ring. Now we tape it on the back. There we go. Hey, there we go, boys and girls. This is the ring that we um, that we made. So. I hope this engagement ring will remind you of today's lesson that marriage is a promise we should keep for life. And if you want to make a box um, to, for the engagement ring, remember um, last year in Christmas during Christmas time we made a gift box, and you can check out the um, the old videos that um, during last Christmas. So to make the gift box. All right, if you want to show me your craft, please email it to me. See you guys next week. Bye-bye. All right, kids. Thank you for worshiping with us today. We know that today's lesson about marriage was not an easy one to grasp, but you did it. Maybe this coming week, before you go to bed, let's pray and ask God to help all the husbands and wives to keep all the promises that they made to each other. All right, so let's close in a word of prayer. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for today that you gave us a day of rest to worship you. We thank you for all the things that we learned about the Ten Commandments. And we pray that you would give us a heart like Jesus to be willing to obey all of your commands as we grow up. And as we start a brand new week, we pray that you continue to be with us. As we start the summer, we might be going to summer school or doing other activities. And we pray that you will bless us and protect us. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Bye! Bye. And become joyful story about a dad who knows how to care for his back. Yeah! Here! Check out this. Here! So that's weird. Okay. <laughs> I think that a good marriage is when your wife or husband is trust. <laughs> when people are married, I know that they really care for each other and they also want the best to do it again. And they also want... <laughs> Next, we're gonna finish off by doing jumping jacks. We're gonna do 15 of these. I wanna make it a challenge. 20. Make sure you hydrate and... That so much. Great job, guys. Now get some. What did I say? Okay. Great job, guys. We're gonna see you guys. <laughs> I can't. You're so dog water. Can you do it? No. Great job, guys. Make sure to get plenty of water to hydrate. And you guys are gonna see you guys. See? That's what happens to me. Okay, you're gonna hydrate and you're gonna see you guys later. Camera.